What's happening, everybody? McDouche and Kurt go back to RFK here. Why should Dorm Motorsports, Phil Rao, shut up, Jack, bring you both back? Well, I have been studying Taekwondo. Things you don't say in an interview. What about you, Kurt? I'm going to rip your eyeballs out and piss in the hole. Excuse me? I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Your eyes are a beautiful shade of potato. Kurt has a split personality. Shut the f up, you right stealing lip gloss overusing, never rode a horse bareback, stupid f Wow. I'm sorry, Jamie. Bareback isn't for all of us. I think we're going to pass. I want Kurt. 700 likes on the video, and we'll all chip in to get Kurt some psychotherapy. I will fuck you up. What's happening, everybody? I am Michael Roots, and welcome back to NASCAR Inside Line on the Wii. Wait a minute. Last week when we played this, the guy on the computer had sunglasses. Now the guy working on the engine has sunglasses, but he doesn't have the headset. The guy without the shabby, he's got the headset on. What could he possibly need to protect his ears from when he's not cleaning the car? All he's doing is wiping his hand juice all over it. What the hell else is going on in this garage? All right, so last week we brought back NASCAR Inside Line on the Wii. We did the challenges, that's right. They were quite challenging. I'm not doing that again today. Today we are doing Eliminator Racing. Sort of. Eliminator Racing started in NASCAR the game 2011, but it didn't transfer over into this, the sequel. So I made up my very own Eliminator Racing. That's why I use the term loosely. It's not really. What we're going to do is go around Martinsville causing big pileups, and I have to find my way through those pileups and attempt to win the race. It's only this game where the pileups are so magnificent, they're so difficult to get through, and it makes this a real challenge. On what planet did they think that they couldn't use his proper name it's jet dryer montoya anyways that shit doesn't matter we're gonna use the man of the brickyard michael mcdonald's we're gonna start calling him michael mcdouble i got that suggestion on twitter one two races now so he is legitimate maybe he can get me a couple of wins down at the martinsville hot dog today let's get this video started i i, I got nothing else let's get the video started let's go yeah! I forgot to call Gary! It's gonna be really hard to call him, considering his number has been blurred out! It's always been interesting to me how much different the Wii versions are. You never, like, really know what you're gonna come across, how it's gonna go, what you're gonna find. Like, is this gonna be the same as what I'm used to on the Xbox 360 version? That's really what I've Lay always down. played it. I don't think I've ever... Oh, my God! That's definitely not in the 360 version. There's a freaking ramp instead of curves. So what Lay I gotta down. find a way to do is get some people wrecked, get a pile of brewing where they all drive into that. What the absolute... The bitch just disappeared. Wait a minute. And now I got... Do you see big puffs of smoke coming through? Now I'm a little... I, did you see what happened to that 87? He started blinking. What the fuck is going on with that curve? It's making me think if I were to try to get some sort of pile up here, that they're not going to just stop. They're going to, like, refresh or something. Yeah! They're not sitting! They're not sitting pretty! I got freaking roof damage! Can I get cars to sit and not move and actually cause a pileup? Or is that not a thing in this game? I can't turn, like, I have some catastrophic damage. It is hampering the handling of this car bad. Some severe engine damage. What do I gotta do to slow this shit down? There's a pileup! Down in turn two, there's a pile of, okay, Man, finally. Man. But I got a lot of engine damage. Finally, finally. Uh, now we just made up like 20 man. spots. How long that gonna, it's not lasting though. You see that? They're starting to like make their way through. They're being ejected to pit road. Right, they're still sitting here. Are they gonna be able to ever figure this out? Right there, play nine. Get loose every time you play everybody. Take it easy. Check flag. I've never DNF'd before in one of the Eliminator to I think I might have to turn off damage. I swear to you, I just had a replay where he stuck his arm out the window and it looked like he was flipping somebody off. Set it to cosmetic only. So, you know, at least we have that. We won't have all the engine failures, tire failures. I couldn't turn anymore. After what we just saw, 
We started to think, okay, this isn't gonna work, but I think it could work. It's just, it's gonna take a, it's gonna take a little bit of work. We're underway with uh, attempt two. It's not gonna be easy to get everybody to uh, agree to stop. Just send it, just clean out some people and hope to God that others follow. They got going again, so I'm gonna have to do that again. Send it even deeper. What the fuck? Fuck. This is incredible! This could be the greatest game that I've ever played. What happened to Grandpa Martin? Use the ramp. Okay, that time, now it just doesn't want to work? How does that work? You need, like, a couple of cars to get involved in this shit. They're just refusing to do so at the moment. This is sort of what I was saying about how different this game is compared to the other version. Like, you don't see this type of damage in the Xbox 360 edition. Probably better off having the leaders come through shortly after I cause a wreck. They're just driving into the wall by themselves. But you got Nick Douche. He's the leader. He's coming around not too much longer. If he could just drive right into a guy that I spin out. Rip Now there's no... The ramp has moved further down oh, on the curve. They're slowing down on the mini-map. On the exit of two, I'm gonna make up some ground. Starting to leave, though. It's starting to disintegrate. Get more, get more involved. Difficult as task. Getting a pile up four. But we're getting there. And as long as I continue to add to the pile up, we'll make up the grounds. Shit, 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 no. No, Redneck Jesus, no! You cannot come! What the fuck did I do to Redneck Jesus? See, he totally screwed me! Everything has been filed out! Everything is fine! There are no build-ups on the track. I need to form something else! Come on, now I'm a lap down! We gotta get the leader! We gotta get Candy Cane! God damn you, Carl's Jr. I could just race normally and make up the spots that way, but what fucking fun is that? What? Why do they gotta disappear? Would I overload the way? Where? Oh, where? Did that five car even di disappear to? And Tony the top? Where are they going off to? I wanna know. Holy shit! Now what? Fucking now what? What do you expect me to do with this? The 83 is getting further and further away. I don't know how I'm in 43rd when I have made some people go full-blown Harry Potter and evaporate themselves with like a magic wand, yet somehow I'm in last? They're not completing the laps, if you ask me. I've completed every lap. 30 seconds, I'm like, that's over a full lap. I got a lot of ground to make up whenever they decide to flip me back over. In the Xbox 360 edition, this would be a red flag. Even though I have all flags turned off, this would be a red flag. If you get a car upside down on the shits, what if I drive into them, cause my pile up, and then start my race? They just like kind of flicked me off like I was a mosquito that was annoying uh, their picnic lunch. How, what, how do I cause like something to happen? I don't want to make a pit stop backwards. Oh, oh, look down at turn one. Turn one, there is shit. There's a shit gaggle. No, you guys, you guys got to stay put. You cannot move. They all are moving. It's all cleaned up. It doesn't stay. It's a 360 vert. What the fuck? This physics don't make any sense. This has to be possible. It cannot be only on 360 where oh, you're able to have the shits. This bitch refuses to get dumped by me no matter what the hell I do. I'm the only one that's really wrecking. What is happening? What is... That's not cool. I gotta get out of it in order to take advantage. Uh-huh. Aha! Uh -huh. But I can't take advantage, because I'm in the barrel! Come on, C okay. Now we can take advantage, but see, that's the shit that keeps happening. That's ruining our eliminator race! I got two fucking laps to make up, and the leader has gotten free yet again. Because of the, of the flickering, the flashing, resetting them! Let me try to wall ride like Chastity Belt. It's actually pretty, wow. 
It works in this game, but they're all clear. Everybody has gotten away, so I do not think that Eliminator Racing is going to work. If we've learned anything from these laps here at the Martinsville, it's that inside line on Xbox 360. That game is superior. And there the ain't shit that can really touch it. But I will add this, the Wii version has its own set of screwiness that makes it, like, it kind of forms its own little category. And it is pretty damn cool. Maybe there's another track where Eliminator is more functional in the Wii version. We're trying out Bristol, and I will see if I can cause a big one. I love how McDouche gets to start on pole every single fucking time because they line up the cars by way of car number. This time we're going with a different strategy. Drive up into the pack, get some people right up behind us, and then spin someone out so there are some people immediately there that they can drive into. Okay, Grandpa Martin, he kind of asked to be... Let's just, Eight. let's Bonnie do it ourselves. Okay, I, I, got, I have to flip back over. I'm on top of Candy Cane. How many people wish they could say that? We're upside down again. We got a big one. I would be able to make makeup spots if I were able to flip the fuck back over. Where's the reset button? Look at how many cars on that minimap are stopped. I don't know, how am I even still... Okay, I thank salutations to whomever it was that helped me get through that. That was a truly score. I'm upside down again. This might be better. The Bristol might be better for them. I gotta, we gotta get into the first. Dorm, stop hitting me! Fucking no! We gotta, we gotta, there's so much shit going on, so many positions that are up for grabs that the, I gotta stop getting hit, and I gotta not wind upside down. Can we please? Please, for the sweet love of Moses, get back on track and get... I keep getting hit. I keep getting hit. There's not much left of my car. I got hit again. I'm going in the wrong direction. I'm fucking dead. Whatever you do, I do not want to wind up on the pitch because there's no grip. Holy shit. Holy shit. Is there even a pit crew in this game? I doubt it. It's... Man, I was screeching I'm getting into that pit box. We basically just need a new fucking car! Like I said, we got a real big car here. Wow, what the hell is happening on those barrels? There are people glitching out on the barrels. They do not let off the throttle when they get into me. There's a lot of cars behind me, but there's no way of stopping them. I almost think that I need to add some sort of, like, grip. Like, I need to put on a traction control or something just so I can try to get out of the shenanigans once I've caused the shenanigans. They just don't stop. And those, the 95 and the 34, they're they're having some kind of time down on those barrels. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't even do anything. I wish, I wish we could find a way to turn off their blinking bullshit. A little teeny weeny, teeny bopping son of a bitch and shit going on down into turn one and two. I got nine laps to make up. But we finally got some stuff happening that could yield some high-end results for us. You gotta act fast on it and see it's already gone. It's already over. I didn't act quick enough. I didn't make up any sort of time. And you, you spin someone around and that's what happens to you. We got a big one. Nobody's getting through that, right? Holy, holy shit. Holy, oh, like this is when I'm, but I can't. I can't because the car is so hard to freaking control. What am I even stuck on? I'm hitting the throttle. It's really hard to get like going again. Once I'm stopped, either to go in reverse or to get into first gear and to start hustling. They are on the final lap. Hamster is on the final lap. Can I do something about that? Can I cause some, like at least make him not win? Like, please, ain't nobody want to see that shit. I got a lap back. So I'm able to complete one more. I'm not in last. And the 14 is going to win. Good for him. At least, you know what? I will take a not last after all of that that we just went through. Oh, damn. Whoa. What are we doing? 
I started with the 11 and it ended with the 51. Can someone just push me across the line? I'm having a really hard time getting there. Uh-huh. Wow, wow. Wow. Now it's working. The 42 and the 4... What is the concoction to get that to be the constant? If this doesn't work, I really do not have any other options. Anything else to try. I put on all the assists aside from break assists. So like if I get involved in some garbage, then I can hopefully drive my way through. Oh, don't let her get away. Well, what the fuck is that? How is that any bit different? I'm going to pop up and I'm going to try to drive away. And if I can't. Yeah, there's really, there, uh, come on! Point in the right direction! Hitting the throttle and nothing is that. It takes so long for it to like, get back moving again after I've hit the That's throttle right. once I've stopped sliding. We're one lap down. Like, can I even make up this one lap? If they're driving, all right, they're driving into it. There no, still yeah, seem to be a little bit stopped. Get Sam Horney Jr. involved. Get Jet Dryer Montoya off the front end of my shit! I can't, he won't move! They're like stationary! I am trying, I am hitting the throttle, I am hammering the throttle, and nothing happens. This seems to be like the longest we've been able to prolong a big one without them figuring out how to get through it. We just gotta keep plowing into it and hope that the party does not stop! Everything that happened there on the front stretch is gone. It's all over. The party end formed up a little bit of something on the exit of two, but it, they're gone. Everybody's gone. You cannot do eliminator racing. You can do a little bit of eliminator racing in this, but not much. Now it's back to just like a normal race, and everybody's pretty much saying, uh, what wreck? There was a wreck? Oh, that caution. Yeah, they got everything cleaned up, but nobody was taken out in that. No, that was a big fucking... Hey, wait, wait a minute. They wrecked themselves there. It slowed down for a second, but it all got cleaned up. They hit the reset button, and then they're like, what? I'm still trying to cause some shit. I just wrecked Robbie Ryan. McDouche, that was an interesting exit of the pit road. I'm seeing some things that it's like, they're kind of causing on their own that I have no part in. Which is interesting. Yeah, they're doing a lot of shit by themselves. And of course, I have to wreck my dumb fucking ass. They're caught. The, what are they doing? Hamster keeps finding his way through the shed. He's not caught up in it long enough for me to get a lap back. I think I figured out, though, how to hit them properly. Where it just spins them and it doesn't spin me. I'm like keeping my foot in it going into the going into the corners. Just barely clipping their right rear quarter panel. And it sends them sliding and I'm able to continue. Yes, again, another one. But again, I get fucking involved in it! And the leader, now it's the 21. Leader just. Like, come on! Last a little bit longer. I hate, I hate how long it takes to get back going again. I'm still here. I am still here. It's been about five minutes that I've been wrecking in fucking turn one. How am I six laps down? On what fucking ground? How am I? Why did he pass me that many times? There's some sort of fucking leader advantage. I got wrecked again. I got, you know, I'm a, I think that's about 100. I think that's about... 101. 101. That's how many times I've been spotted. And I didn't even cause it. Don't you dare. Don't you. You fucking. You fucking jerk off. No fuel. The tires are looking real good, buddy. All right, let's make it count, boys. Be ready. All the six Be car. Ready. It's a six car right there. Oh, okay. Let me slowly get back in this race. Well, they're on the white flag. I'm in dead last. I got bumpkiss. I got absolutely nothing. The two car is apparently the next guy up for me, but I'm not going to have a chance at him. Now Hi. everything, ha, right here at the end, everything is smooth sailing. What, Rex? We've all been going in the right direction this entire time. One thing that this shit has is some good crashes, some good ass physics, car parts flying off and whatnot. And I want to see some more of that. I want to see a big one. And we're going to get a big one. Because I'm driving pretty fast into the pack. That's all I had to do? To get a wad? That's all I had to do? I turned out the damage again.
Yeah, I've had about enough. Sorry to everybody whose lives were affected by the oncoming incident of Indy 2023. I guess we can't do Eliminator Racing on the Wii with it. I, I, I don't know if I've done it before. I don't think I had done it before, so that's why I, I hopped in here and gave it a shot. I think there's plenty else to do with the physics that are there, and I love the updated graphics now playing this on the emulator. So, I think there's more to do, it's just not this. So, um, I hope I found a way to edit this well where it led to your enjoyment, and... Yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. I love y'all, every single last one, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!